the text follower. Today's video is sponsored by Julian. Open the Fusion page and add a merge node. Bring a text node in empty space and connect it to the merge as a foreground. Type down your boring text and adjust the text settings to your liking. Right click to the text window and select the follower. Go to the Modifiers tab and you'll notice that nothing happened. Go to the Transform tab, open the Size menu, right click to the X slider and select to modify it with Shake. You can see that something is happening now, but it is still too lame. Adjust the maximum slider and the smoothness to your liking. Open the follower modifier again. Go to the timing tab, and here is where the cool stuff are hidden. Change the order to whatever you like. If you can't understand what each of these options are doing, that means you are stupid. Even now you can see that nothing has really changed, that's because you need to adjust the delay slider. This will set the delay time between each character animation, I guess it's self-explanatory. If you watched my previous clip, you already know how to make an extrude out of your text. I did some extra stuff also, used a glow node and grain, just to flex my skills. For those who haven't seen it, I know it's extremely hard to click in another video, but be brave, you can make it. If you like this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, you know where you belong.